Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your day, the crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. And with that being said, let's just dive in and let's start off with this tweet here from Anthony Welfare. He's quoting Pierceist. And when you see impressive work from Pierceist, Ripple X Dev, and the rest of the XRP community, to see the MetaMask wallet connecting to EVM sidechains on XRP Ledger is very exciting. I started my blockchain journey with Ethereum and love the fact that we are bridging to the XRP ledger. Interoperability is the key to the continued success and growth of blockchain technology, and I do completely agree. What do you see from Pierceist? It gets closer every time while you wait for the release of the XRP ledger EVM sidechain. Don't miss all the new improvements. And we do see all of those improvements here with new witness bridge using XLS 38D amendment. Now distributed and operable by multiple parties. Witness keys can be stored on AWS KMS. Bridge ERC20 and IOU tokens, faucet support to facilitate onboarding of XRP and also other tokens. Uh, very exciting. And also, remember, this is the same company that has been expanding on the XRP ledger with some significant use cases, like for an example, the tokenization of land titles in Colombia. This was uh, a pretty big initiative back in August of 2022, and this is with, of course, Pierceist. Now, Outside of that, we also have a few other major initiatives. You guys probably know about Spend the Bits. Uh, this was a company that was really kind of tied back to the XRP lawsuit due to their um, CEO really kind of filing a major amicus brief. And uh, we do see over here from John he Johnny Deaton, he's saying, um, pay attention to Spend the Bits. I think these major financial leaders and others uh, within the payment sector are going to be very impressed. Jay, Spend the Bits, like I said, the founder and CEO, one Ripple CBDC and Shopability Hackathon last year, beating out 500 other contestants. I don't believe there's a more important or significant term within the in in industry today than interoperability. Also, Spend the Bits filed an incredible amicus brief in the Ripple XRP case, educating the judge on how open source payments technology can work utilizing the blockchain. Jay wowed the crowd at XRP Las Vegas a few months ago with a live demonstration. And I believe he may be presenting at Patrick Bet David's 2023 Vault Conference next week. And this is uh, some pretty big news. And he's actually quoting a tweet from an individual that is responding back to Jeremy Allaire, who is the co-founder and CEO of Circle. Uh, this is, of course, USDC. And when you see Jeremy Allaire, he's quoting a tweet talking about, you know, payments and payment fees and things like that within the e-commerce side of things. And we do see maybe there's something to stablecoin payments after all. Companies whose core business is extracting 3 to 4% on merchant fees will face a reckoning in the decade to come. Maybe merchant processing fees will settle in at something closer to 20 to 30 BPS built around tech fees. And uh, Sal Khan is responding back to this and saying, if more and more merchants will adopt USDC and QR code based merchants acceptance and payment apps, the ecosystem will benefit drastically. We're working on it. USDC with spend the bits will showcase very, very soon. And this is actually a big initiative because this means that USDC could very well be on the XRP ledger very soon. Um, and it would make sense, especially with this new EVM sidechain with bridging availability. This could very well bridge those tokens, especially ERC-20 tokens, um, which is big. That means USDC could very well be transacting on the XRP ledger, very similar to what it's doing over on Stellar, which we do know is a huge game changer on the Stellar ecosystem as well. So this is very, very exciting. And also, Zago. So Zago just re uh, recently announced that they introduced six new currencies. Now, to some people, this, not, this might not be huge, but take a step back and realize how big this is. I'll break it down. So first off, the six major currencies, the Australian dollar, Hong Kong dollar, Japanese yen, Singapore dollar, New Zealand dollar, and also the Bahraini dinar. This is big, right? Like, listen, as we look at what's happening here, okay, for some people that are not aware, all of this is on the XRP ledger. If you don't believe me, that's totally fine, um, but this is big, right? And this is all on the XRP ledger. Um, I will break that fully down here in a second. But first, I do want to read this. So while Zago's payment platform and trade exchange already support the South African Rand, British Pound, Euro USDC, and even Ripple's XRP, users can now also transact using these major six currencies. We do see from the CCO and the co-founder, he's saying we are excited to introduce this expansion to our gateway as it represents our dedication to providing 
a versatile and user-friendly platform that meets the needs of our global audience, and it aligns perfectly with our mission of enabling all, an all-inclusive approach to moving money across borders quickly, securely, and cost-effectively. Big, big deal. Now, also, within this, when you go over to the security and compliance section on Zago, because this is a Ripple partner, um, if we scroll down, we could see highly secure transactions. Transactions are reco uh, recorded transparently on, that's right, the XRP ledger, meaning all of these currencies now are exposed on the XRP ledger. This is a huge, huge announcement. Not enough people are paying attention to the ecosystem builders that are on the XRP ledger. You need to be heavily focused on this. Very similar to what we talked about with GitHub recently. GitHub is also a big initiative with some wallets. And what do you see over here? I'm so excited about this. I just added Euro to my XRP Ledger account in under one minute, then sent it back to my bank account in within another minute. This is it. This is what the ecosystem needs. This is where we're going. And he's responding back to himself because this is building on the XRP Ledger, an individual that is around uh, the sum wallet. Uh, we do see together with the gate hub, we add it the smoothest stablecoin on ramp and off ramp to some wallet. And uh, we do see tap your gate hub issued assets trust line slash balance on your home screen. Sign in with your gate hub account just once and in an instant add and withdraw. This is big. All of this on the XRP ledger. I want you guys to realize that we are getting closer and closer and closer to realizing the value of the internet of value. And in fact, GitHub is your digital asset wallet for the internet of value. It's all coming together at a crucial time in history. You can see all of the XRP ledger markets on, of course, GitHub. Very, very significant initiatives happening on the XRP ledger. And this is, like I said, all part of the internet of value. It's coming together at a, at a major moment in time where the entire world of uh, finance as we know it is getting shaken up by the digital sector. And I think that's very exciting, right? Like I think that this is where everything changes, especially around cross-border payments, tokenized assets. I mean, you name it. Every, anything and everything of value is going to be disrupted by this technology over the course of the next couple of years. And I do think that, you know, as we look at the, the XRP ledger as well, like a magnitude of value, a magnitude of value will be moving over this ledger. And I even said over on Twitter, I said, don't let the concept of bridge currency be the basis of value for XRP. Remember that XRP has unlimited utility. Technically, anything built on the XRP ledger could harness the power of XRP. XRP as a bridge currency is huge, but think about the bigger picture. Outside of what Ripple uses XRP for, the XRP ledger has hundreds of use cases. I said, I believe it was IOV underscore OWL or Crypto Eddie who mentioned this. The greatest value for XRP will come from what's being built on the ledger. We have great use cases already, but imagine all the great tokenization use cases that have yet to launch. Imagine having a vast world inside the ledger of utility, disrupting trillion dollar industries, unlimited potential. And I do believe at this current moment in time, there's like over 100 plus use cases building out on the XRP ledger. I think that when we look at the world, and how we are seeing the change come from the financial world. I think it's all centered out on significant payment technology. And all of this is being realized through the XRP ledger as well. A lot of, uh, a lot of these initiatives, like for example, with like Peersist, right? Like this one going all the way back to August of 2022. These are significant use cases that are bringing about a revolution to markets that are ripe for disruption. The Real estate market is one that has yet to be tapped into the digital world because this is also a market that is extremely illiquid. I've talked about it. The global real estate market, which is valued at $300 trillion, is a market that is ripe for digital disruption because of the inefficiencies tied to it. When we look at what, of course, the XRP Ledger is doing with the help of some companies like Ripple, for example, 
and even Pyrrhusist, and other ones as well, like Spendy Bits or even Zago. All of this is a recipe for incredible value to be unlocked. I'm very excited about the future, especially when we look at the XRP ledger. And even when we go back in the past and we actually look at some of the ecosystem uh, variations. So for example, this was posted back in like 2022 by XRP Status. And when we look at this, like this ecosystem continues to expand within itself. Uh, we know that from even older images, you know, compared to today, there's a lot more happening here. And there's 100 plus companies already building on the ecosystem. and Again, this only continues to expand. Um, there's some incredible, incredible projects out there. As long as you are really focused on what's happening within the ledger as well, and also focused on what Ripple is doing with XRP, I do think that then you truly realize how much value actually is here. Um, and even like Sologenic, right? Sologenic was a big project that everyone was really kind of focused on. It's still here, they're still building. Um, there's a lot tied to this around tokenization. All of this is on the XRP ledger. So when we look at what individuals have said, like Crypto ID for an example, where you know she did mention how much value will come from just like the XRP ledger side of things from the retail sector and use outside of what Ripple was doing with XRP. You know, that's where a lot of the value is tied to. Um, a lot of people look at Hedera, for an example, right? Like Hedera has a lot going on um, on the network and HBAR powers all of that. Now, what if another company was utilizing HBAR for a specific use case and we were only focused on that one company? You would miss out on all of the other players on the ecosystem. This is why I say it's so significant to read beyond what everyone is so focused on. I get it. XRP as a bridge currency is huge. I get it. XRP as a settlement token is huge. But think about all of the other use cases on the XRP ledger as well. Combine all of this, and guys, I'm telling you right now, the future is so bright. I do think that there's a magnitude of value waiting to be unlocked through the XRP ledger. We understand this, especially when we talk about the internet of value. This is going to be one of the largest, and I always say this, it's going to be one of the largest revolutions out there around technology and even value transfer. Changing the way that value is moved and settled is a big deal. But then you combine this with everything else and we look at the future of tokenization on how it's, you know, projected to be worth 16 trillion dollars by 2030. There's no, there's not a doubt in my mind that XRP is going to be a huge player in this new digital economy that is growing and becoming a big deal and it's rising every single day. There's so many expansions happening on the XRP ledger, and I'm very, very excited. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys want more free content, if you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, this has been Nick. Peace out.